Hey everybody, Dan from Relevance here, and I could not be more excited to walk you through release 1.27.0. It has been a massive one. We've been a bit quiet for a couple of weeks in Relevance time. That's a long time, but it's been worth it. We've made some massive changes. Let me show you. Our biggest focus in this release was making it easier to build your AI tools. First of all, a bit of a recap. AI tools are the automations that you can build in our no-code builder that help you distill repeated jobs that you might use in your AI workforce. You can build these AI tools and you can equip them to your agents, sort of a fundamental building piece of the relevance platform. First update we've made is we have this new table of contents over here on the left. At a quick glance, you can see exactly what a tool does. You can see every single step. You can even click through them and it will scroll to the step itself. Our goal here was to make it easier to understand when you enter a new tool or you go back to one of your old tools, what it's doing, because you can see it all in one view rather than having to scroll through every step and get your head around it. Little bonus feature. I think it's something that's actually massive. You can now rename your steps as well. Those are the names that you will then see in your table of contents. So rather than having three code steps, you can actually rename them based on what they're trying to do. Second major update we've made to the tool builder, you'll notice a big right sidebar now. If you click into a step, you see the right sidebar appear. This is where you'll now find your advanced options, your output configuration. The goal here was to use the space better so that we could take the clutter out of the normal cards. We've also put the tutorials. Not sure if I meant to say this, but coming up soon in relevance roadmap, we're going to add a co-pilot tab there in the right sidebar as well. So a little sneaky hint at the future. Again, jump in our Discord. Tell us what you think about this new right sidebar and the new table of contents. One of my favorite features we've added, when you run your tool now, you can see the output stream through in every single step. Helps in two kind of ways. First of all, it's exciting. It looks really cool to see it all coming through. But secondly, it makes it easier to debug. You don't have to wait for the whole tool to finish to see if there's some incorrect output in step one or step two. Here's maybe my second favorite update we've made. You can now add custom images as your icons. Previously, you could select an emoji, but now you can open up the emoji drop down, click the custom tab, drag in maybe your company's logo, maybe an avatar you've created for your agent, or, you know, maybe just the meme. Whatever floats your boat, your tools and your agents can have custom icons. All right. Three minor changes to wrap this video up. The first one you'll notice is we've renamed app in the tool builder to shareable app, and we've made the UI exactly the same as what you see from a shareable link, or if you embed it in your app or your website. The inconsistency here used to annoy people. We totally get that. So we made them the same. We've got two new tool wizards. Knowledge Q&A was really well received. We've created two more wizards now for the other major use cases we commonly see. Feel free to give them a spin. And finally, when you use the insert data into knowledge step, I promised this in the last video, when you select the knowledge table now, it pre-fills the input with the columns of your knowledge table. That's a wrap. Release 1.27.0. Some massive updates to that tool builder that really excite me. I think it's easy to use now. I think it just looks better. Massive shout out to our engineering team, Surya, Regine, Jeff, JT, Josh, Jason on the design. You guys know who you are. Really awesome work on this release. Join our Discord. Find us on Twitter. Find us wherever you can. We want your feedback. Thanks so much for watching. I've been Dan. This is Relevance. We'll see you next time.